Hey guys, what's up? So, welcome to this year's 1 to 53rd scale update video. Um, so there are quite a few changes, additions, and subtractions, you could say. Um, so a lot of these buses are the same and nothing's really changed, so I'm not gonna go in-depth on a model unless it's new or something's changed with it. Um, so we'll look at some of the older ones first. Uh, we've got the Dinky Wayne which I've had that, so that's nothing new. Uh, got the Safety Lantern ER with the yellow roof. And then uh, right here we got two S-Series promo models that have the uh, removable hoods. And then we got a 3000 Series bus model, 4000 Series uh, box truck, and then a uh, Ertl uh, 3000 uh, model. I'll bring it over here so you can see a little bit better. Um, so that's, you know, the uh, Ertl 3800, which I've I've had this, so that's not the first time uh, appearing in a 1 to 53rd scale update video. Moving on, we're going to go ahead and look at some of the Thomas Transits. Uh, so the majority of these have been around. Uh, the first two are 16 and 17. Um, they're just modeled after 2020 HDXs. So, um, nothing's really changed with them. I had a third one of these, uh, but I had sold it, and I, I don't, I think I had sold it before last year's video, so I, it, that should be in there. Next model is 23. Uh, 23 I've had for over 10, well, just a, a little over 10 years now, and it's modeled after a 13, 2013 HDX, um, so nothing's changed with that. You got 24 and 25, both of which are safety liner HDs. Um, the models themselves have ER on the bottom, but it is what it is. Uh, I've got the yellow roof version and a white roof version with uh, yellow wheels. Um, now the next one is a new addition. This is 26, uh, which is the first version HDX with the older style rear end and the thicker headlights, tail lights, turn signals, warning lights. Um, so this was a new addition last year that I am pretty sure I did not have um, during last year's video. The next one is 34, which is another first edition HDX, but I've had that. And then we have the HDX uh, coach, or transit liner rather, um, which this I'm pretty sure this was in last year's video. Uh, but there it is, nothing new there. So moving on, we come to the C2s. Um, so last year they did release a new C2 model, and I have two of them uh, so far. But um, I will say, I think I sold at least two C2s last year. Um, uh, one was 39, and I think the other one was 28. Um, but anyways, uh, so this right here is just a blank C2 model of the new version. Um, it, I just haven't lettered it yet. I don't know if I'm going to letter it. I might just leave it blank. Um, but there's that. Very nice model. Again, I think they did a good job on it. I'll have to include the review I did on that. Uh, we've got 22, which I've had 22 just as long as I had, have had 23. Um, now 27 here is a bus that I think I mentioned it in last year's video, uh, but this is a bus I did some work to. Uh, when I got it, it was kind of damaged, so I went ahead and gave it, um, I repainted the white roof and kind of gave some black details around the warning lights so that way it would look a little bit better um, to cover up some of the uh, dings and stuff. And I think overall this model turned out fairly well uh, with the work I did to it. I gave it a black hood to also cover up some dents and dings that it had, um, but all in all I'm happy with it and I'm happy with uh, the way that it turned out. So that's 27. Um, the next one is 28, which is another one of the new C2s, and this one would have replaced the C2 number 28 that I would have sold, um, I think I sold it last year, it could have been the year before. Uh, but anyways, it would have replaced that bus, and this just has, uh, Renegade Transit, Warren County on it. And, uh, this was the model that I used in my review video. And uh, obviously I have since uh, lettered it and um, stuff like that. So that's that's 28, and it's a 22 model year bus, which is kind of like Lebanon's 28. Um, 
the next bus we got is 29 um, that bus has been in previous videos uh, it replaced the FS 65 bus 29 um, next bus is 33 that's a 18 model year C2 that I have um, so that's that's been around no new updates with that uh, the next bus is 40 and 40 is new 40 is the one of the very first editions of the c2 with the square body uh this is something i got last year in a lot it actually came with bus 26 um so this is in really good condition because it did come in its box and i mean it's it's pretty well you know mint uh i numbered it 40 because um i had been going up in the the fleet numbers in this scale um and the last bus before this I had done was 39, but 39 is now gone, so that's now open. But this is 40, um, just a very good looking, clean model. Uh, the next bus is 151, and 151 is actually a bus I had years ago that um, just returned to me last year. And it has the same number and lettering and everything on it, except for maybe, I think I updated the side lettering because the lettering I put on it when I had it originally was a little small uh, but basically everything on this bus is the same way it was before I traded it to the person I traded it to and then it eventually came back to me so this is 151 it's modeled as a uh, 2014 model year C2 and uh, the roof is kind of I don't know if you'd call that yellowed, but it's it's definitely not the same white as the other models. Uh, so that's 151. Like I said, it's a model I had, but now it's back. Um, and then the last C2 is 191, which I've had 191, so nothing new there. Um, but yeah, so that was the C2s in the collection. Next, we're going to go ahead and take a look at FS65s. So this is, um, there's three real toy and three Sikus. Um, I have four Sikus, but the fourth is an out of service bus and is with the out of service buses. Uh, so the first one is 18 and 18 first appeared in last year's video. It is a, um, as I said last year, an Adam Ross special with the blue interior and all of the um, modifications that he likes to do to his model. I left Board of Education on there because none of my other real toy buses have that on there so I figured I'd leave it uh, next bus here is 19 which that's a Siku so the hood opens on that one uh, but 19 really hasn't changed much so uh, next one is 35 35 also was here last but uh, fleet update um, and I'll make note that this one does not have the silver roof, hat roof hatches which 18 doesn't either but uh, no silver roof no silver roof hatches like 121 has um, 121 is, is the, uh, interesting bus because I put a second stop sign on it. Um, and I do want to clarify, this second stop sign is a stop sign that I pulled from another model. It is not something that I, you know, went out and purchased individually. So if, if this is something you want to modify, you'd have to, uh, pull it from another bus. Um, next two models are both Seiko FS65s that were in last year's video. You've got 192 and 193. Um, both of these are modeled to go with the C2 that's numbered 191. So you've got your black hood and um, all that kind of stuff. And they have ID numbers. And I'm pretty sure both of them say stop. Well, no, one says stop. And the other says stop state law. So it would be like 193 had bodywork. Um, and I do want to make a note of modeling Ohio buses with stop but reflective I mean I guess it it might be possible if you could do stop and then you had a red paint marker or maybe red paint that you could do with a fine brush and then kind of trace in the middle a red line that kind of looks like it um, but me personally you will not see that on any of my models because um, you know I, I will say I have it has grown on me the more I see it on buses but I just think the way it was done is it was a little rushed and a little um, I just don't think it should have been mandatory on every single bus in the state I personally believe it should have been a, a situation where if you want to retrofit go for it but on buses made after X date they need to have it um, but that's just my opinion and you know I just want to say that's my opinion and I'm not faulting the state of Ohio for doing this um, or changing the spec 
that's just my opinion on the feature and on stop but reflective. Okay, so I left one out. I forgot to grab this out of the box. Uh, but this goes with the FS65. It's 14. Um, but I've, I've had this one. So custom out of white roof. Uh, American Transportation Service. Um, 06 or 0514 rather. And then stop. And uh, American Transportation Service. So yeah, I don't know. I just forgot about it and wanted to include it since I forgot to grab it. So the next set of buses are the CEs and BEs in my collection. Uh, it is down one because my little 97 that models Lebanon's 97 um, is being used as a decoration at work. So it's not with me currently, but um, it's in the office at work being used as a decoration. So um, that still exists. It's just being used for something else. Uh, so the first model is this blank unnumbered CE that I got last year. Um, I haven't done anything with it because I just, I don't know, there's something about seeing one blank that you just, I don't know, it's different. And this one is in very good shape, so I figured I would leave it alone since it does have its mirrors. Um, the next one is 30, which is a 2014 model year uh, bus with the Navistar logos and stuff like that. Uh, that one I've had, so nothing new there. 32 is a 2012-2013 model year bus. Um, nothing new with that one. You got 31, which, um, also would be a 12 or 13 model year CE model, but I've got it done as a 2010 because R31's a 2010. Uh, 37 ICBE with the, um, rare, uh, bank feature where it's got the, you know, you can put coins in there and then they'll come out the bottom, obviously. Uh, 38 that one was in last year's video for the first time because that is a model that I had had previously and it was numbered 182 which I'm pretty sure even on the asset number you can see where I've got it it's uh, 21828 I think if I've got that modeled yeah or maybe nine I can't remember what what model year yeah nine so um, 21829 or 201829 rather um, so it's a 20, 2009 model that, like I said, had it in my fleet before. Traded it to, or maybe I sold it to Adam, I don't know. But either way, it ended up back with me and I gave it a new fleet number. Um, next model is 50, which I've had 50. And 50's driver's side mirror uh, was broken off in an incident uh, a few years back. So that kind of sucks. But I, I've tried to fix it, but there's not enough room on the mounts for the mirror itself to stay there after like you glue it down like it just wants to fall off so that kind of sucks because this model was in very good condition um the next bus is 65 i've had 65 the only special thing is that it has a uh, custom built cross arm so that's pretty cool and then we've got 90 which i've had 90 for many many years it is a icbe obviously but yeah that is it for the ce's and be's all right so moving on we're going to look at the generic bluebird internationals and then the one um gm old look whatever you want to call that bus um so the first one is two that's just a, a bus that was modeled after lebanon's old two for the meme and uh that came to me from adam we got 15, which I've had 15. Uh, there's 21, which is a 97 modeled bus, which you'd think by this point I would have replaced it with some, I don't know, maybe maybe this C2 right here that's unnumbered will become the new 21, but I don't know. Anyways, uh, so that's 21, and then we've got little 36 and little 41, which both of which I've, I've had, but they are they're just models modeled after the but the two Bluebird Internationals that I rode when I was in school. So you got 36 and, you know, just all the little uh, details that those buses would have had. Um, and here's 41. So I think that's pretty cool. Um, it's, it's nice to have just little models of buses that I rode. Uh, so the next three are 122, 123, and 124. Um all three of which I've had for at least the last two to three years, I do believe. Um, they're just regular 9852s, or no, 9855 models. 
uh, with the plastic doors and stuff like that um, that I just modeled after I want to say they say ATS let's see yeah American Transportation Service uh, in 124 I added a white roof and a wheelchair door um, I know it's in Sharpie and it probably doesn't look the best but it works for me so yeah and then they all say stop of course because Ohio spec and then the last bus is a white roof 9853 uh, which I have not done anything with because you know I want to keep it original and this one has a metal door which most of the ones I've seen and the other one that I do have has a uh, plastic door um, I think this was in last year's video so that's pretty cool so um, yeah that is the 9853 so before we get to the retired buses, I do have um, three other blank, un unlabeled uh, 9853 buses that are, you know, there. I wouldn't, they're not technically in the fleet, but um, I do have them. And then I also have, I think there should be five un, un they're labeled, but they're not modified, uh, 9852s. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to include them in since they're technically a part of the fleet as well. Alright, so the last group of buses we got are the uh, out-of-service buses, so there's not too many here. Uh, but this first one is 29, and this was actually my very first CQ that I bought back in 2014. Um, so, I mean, technically I could put this back together and it could be put back into service, if you will. Um, I still have the rear door, it's just removed but um i replaced it with a 2021 model c2 so um this one's just out of service um but like i said if i really wanted to fix it back up to where it looked right i could uh this up here is just electrical tape so it's not like um it's sharpie which honestly peeling that off would probably have a bunch of adhesive on it but uh next bus is 32 that's my very first uh, CE model so that one has seen better days and I've had it for over 10 years now uh, 248 is just a generic bluebird that I I got it from Adam somehow but I I I, I know he did something with it but I took all that off and just kind of modeled it after a retired um, Laidlaw bus I guess um, so that's you know retired um, this one actually has a pretend route changer on it um, and then we have 524, uh, which is my other coach or whatever you want to call this bus. Um, ITS and then, uh, stop with the, uh, vertical and the arrows and, um, all the school, but like the original lettering is all gone and you got 524 stacked and, um, yeah, that's 524. And then we've got 2450, which is another bus that came to me from Adam that um, I just went ahead and decided to model it after a retired bus. And um, as you can tell, it has the Adam Ross special uh, treatment done to it. So, yeah, um, that is going to be it for this year's 153rd scale update video. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I know it was something that a lot of you had requested. I'll show you what it looks like on here right now. Um, so here it is. Uh, it took me a little bit longer than anticipated, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. And, um, you know, with that being said, thanks for watching. Let me know what you think. And, uh, real quick before I end it, um, none of these buses are currently for sale. If I do sell them, they will appear on my ebay so uh, my ebay is school bus heritage underscore seven so if i do decide to sell any of these that's where they will be but anyways uh thanks for watching and yeah